Hello all, this is Dr. Sujana again. Let's start our today's topic that is vitamins. Vitamins are a class of organic compounds categorized as essential nutrients. They do not yield energy but enables the body to use other nutrients. There are two groups, water soluble which are vitamin B and vitamin C, fat soluble which includes vitamins A, D, E and K. Now let's see the vitamins more closely. Let's start with vitamin A. The scientific name of vitamin A is retinol. The sources of vitamin A are halibut liver oil, cod liver oil, carrot, margarine, butter, spinach, amaranth, cheese, mango, green leaves, eggs, cow milk, etc. Vitamin A helps in the functions of skeletal growth, production of retinal pigments, anti-infective. It helps to maintain healthy teeth, bones, soft tissues and skin. If vitamin A deficiency occurs, then we can see keratomalacia, bitots spots, corneal xerosis, conjunctivital xerosis, night blindness, dry skin, perifollicular hyperkeratosis, xerophthalmia. Now let's see about vitamin B1. The scientific name is thiamine. The sources are gingerly seeds, groundnut, bengal gram, whole wheat, sheep liver, almonds, raw rice, mutton, milled rice, cow milk, etc. It helps in the functions of our body cells, it changes carbohydrates into energy. It is also essential for heart function and healthy nerve cells. The deficiency of B1 are beriberi, peripheral neuropathy, heart failure, weak memory, sleep disturbances, irritations, etc. Now let's come to vitamin B2. The scientific name is riboflavin. The sources are sheep liver, egg, pulses, leafy vegetables, cow milk, whole cereals, meat, milled cereals. The functions important for body growth and production of red blood cells. The deficiencies sore throat, amnesia, inflammation of skin, ciliosis, corneal vascularization. Next coming to vitamin B3. The scientific name is niacin. The sources are avocado, eggs, fish, lean meats, legumes, nuts, potato and poultry products. The functions it maintains healthy skin and nerves. It also has triglycerides lowering effects at higher doses. The deficiencies causes pellagra characterized by 3Ds, diarrhea, dermatitis and dementia. Now coming to vitamin B5. The scientific name is pantothenic acid. The sources are avocado, broccoli, eggs, legumes, lentils, milk, mushroom, organ meats, poultry, sweet potatoes, whole grain cereals. The functions. Vitamin B5 helps in the metabolism of food. It plays a role in the production of hormones and cholesterol. The deficiency may lead to numbness, depression, irritability, gastrointestinal problems and fatigue. Coming to vitamin B6. The scientific name is pyridoxin. The sources are banana, legumes, meat, nuts, poultry and whole grains. The functions of B6 are to maintain the brain function. It also plays an important role in the proteins that are part of many chemical reactions in the body. Deficiency in B6 may lead to anemia, neuropathies, seborrheic dermatitis, mood swings, confusion and muscle pain. Now coming to vitamin B7. The scientific name is biotin. I guess nowadays the biotin word is very common for in hair supplements and skin supplements also. Let's see the sources. Cereals, egg yolks, legumes, milk, nuts, organ meats, pork and yeast. Functions of vitamin B7 are it is very necessary for metabolism of folic acid and pantothenic acid. Essential for metabolism of proteins and carbohydrates. It also helps in production of hormones and cholesterol. Deficiency may lead to alopecia, brittle nails, skin rashes, etc. Now let's see about vitamin B9. The scientific name is folic acid. I guess we all are aware about folic acid. The main sources are asparagus, broccoli, brewer's yeast, dried beans, fortified cereals, green leafy vegetables, oranges and peanut butter. The functions are, it is mainly needed for the production of DNA which controls tissue growth and cell function. The deficiencies may lead to megaloblastic anemia, glossitis and GIT disturbances. Also leads to neural tube birth defects. Now let's see about vitamin B12. The scientific name is cobalamin. The sources are meat, eggs, soy milk, milk products, organ meats functions. It is very important for metabolism. It also helps to form the RBCs and maintain the central peripheral nervous system. Deficiencies of vitamin B12 may lead to megaloblastic anemia, pernicious anemia, joint pains and chronic fatigue. Now let us see about a very important vitamin that is vitamin C. 
The scientific name is ascorbic acid. The sources are fruits coming from high to low. Amla, guava, lime, orange, tomato. Vegetables, cabbage, amaranth, cauliflower, spinach, potatoes, radish, brinjal. Functions, it is an antioxidant that promotes healthy teeth and gums. It helps the body absorb iron and maintain healthy tissue. It is also essential for wound healing. Deficiencies of vitamin C may lead to scurvy, swollen and bleeding gums, delayed wound healing, anemia and weakness. Now let's see about vitamin D. Vitamin D scientific name is calciferol. The sources are halibut liver oil, cod liver oil, shark liver oil, fish fat, eggs, buttermilk, whole milk and also the sunlight. The functions are absorption of calcium and phosphorus, permits normal growth, maintain proper blood levels of calcium and phosphorus. Vitamin D deficiency may lead to rickets and osteomalacia. Next coming to vitamin E, the scientific name is tocopherol. The sources are avocado, dark green vegetables, margarine, safflower oil and sunflower oil, papaya, mango seeds, nuts and wheat germ. The functions, it acts as an antioxidant, helps the body to form red blood cells and use vitamin K. The deficiencies may lead to red blood cell hemolysis, neurologic defects, increased fragility of RBCs and muscular weakness, hair fall, vision loss, muscle and nerve damage. Now let's see about vitamin K. The scientific name is phytonadione. The sources are cow's milk 60 mcg per liter, human milk 15 mcg per liter. Cabbage, cauliflower, cereals, dark green and leafy vegetables, fish, liver, beef and eggs. The functions, it helps in the normal blood coagulation. Deficiencies may also lead to hemorrhage, bleeding, osteopenia and osteoporosis. Next, let's see about minerals. The first mineral, calcium. The main sources are dairy foods like milk, yogurt and cheese. Plant-based foods with added calcium like soy milk, tofu and breakfast and cereals. The main functions of calcium are to strengthen the bones and teeth, regulate muscle and heart function, blood clotting, transmission of nervous system messages, enzyme function, helps blood clotting and helps muscle contraction and nerve function, essential for building strong and healthy bones. Next coming to iodine. The main source is dairy products, seafood, seaweed, eggs, some vegetables and also the salt. The functions, iodine is essential to make thyroid hormones promotes the normal functioning of thyroid gland, helps in the proper functioning of brain functions, promotes normal growth and development of cells. Next coming to iron, the main sources are red meat and fish, poultry, legumes, eggs, etc. The main functions of iron are, helps in transporting oxygen to all the parts of the body, produces and stores the energy for further metabolism. Now coming to zinc, the main sources are, red meat, shellfish, poultry, milk and cheese, whole grain, cereals with added zinc. The main functions are, zinc is helpful for growth and development as well as for the immune function. It helps to boost and produce the active form of vitamin A and transport it all around the body. It aids in wound healing. Zinc controls the functioning of sense organs in the nervous system. Important and essential process of cell division and reproduction. Now coming to magnesium. The main sources are nuts, legumes, dark green vegetables, seafoods, whole grains, chocolate and cocoa. Magnesium help in maintaining bone health and using glucose for energy. Supports immune function, helps to regulate the blood pressure and lung function. Provides structure for healthy bones. Produces energy from the food molecules. Maintains proper functioning of muscles and the nervous system. Now coming to potassium. The main sources are bananas, apricots, mushroom, spinach, nuts and seeds. The functions, normal functioning of nerves, muscles and heart. Helps to lower the blood pressure, helps in maintaining fluid balance in the body. Maintains proper functioning of muscle and nervous system. Now coming to sodium. The sources, salt is the main source of sodium in our diet. It is an electrolyte made up of sodium and chloride. Functions, it helps to maintain the correct volume of circulating blood and tissue fluids in the body. It maintains cellular osmotic pressure. It helps in maintaining blood volume and blood pressure and fluid balance in the body. Coming to chloride, the sources, table salt, soy sauce, liver, unprocessed meat, milk and peanuts. It helps to regulate the amount of fluid and types of nutrients going in and out of the cells. It also maintains proper pH levels. Coming to copper, the sources are crab, 
lobster, mussels, oysters, nuts, whole grains and yeast extract. Functions Formation of RBCs that is red blood cells helps with the functioning of nervous system. Coming to manganese. The sources are cereals, nuts, oils, vegetables and whole grains. Functions helps to maintain the water balance. Controls nerve impulse transmissions. Next coming to sulphur. The sources are cheese, eggs, fish, nuts, turnips, onions, corn, cauliflower, cucumber, broccoli, etc. Functions. These are involved in protein synthesis. Protects your cells from the damage. Helps in promoting the loosening and shedding of the skin. Next coming to phosphorus. Sources. Meat, fish, mushroom, cashews, squash, carrots, beans and almonds. Functions. Helps the body store and use the energy. Works with calcium in the formation of strong healthy bones and teeth. Now let's see the RDA of vitamins. Vitamin A for adult male is 600 mcg. Adult female is also 600 mcg. Coming to vitamin B1. For males it is 1.2 mg. For females it is 1 mg. Coming to vitamin B2. It is 1.3 mg for males and for females it is 1 mg. Coming to vitamin B3. Adult male 16 mg, adult female 12 mg. Coming to vitamin B5 for males it is 5 mg, adult female it is 5 mg. Coming to B6 for adult male it is 2 mg as well as same for the female. Coming to vitamin B7 for male and female both is 30 micrograms. Coming to B9 it is 200 mcg for both male and female. Coming to B12 it is 1 mcg for both male and female. Coming to vitamin C, 40 mg for both male and female. Coming to vitamin D, 400 international units for both male and female. Vitamin E, 7.5 to 10 mg for both males and females. Vitamin K, 55 mcg for both males and females. Now let's see the recommended dietary allowance of minerals. Coming to chloride, for children it is 1500 mg to 1900 mg. For adult male and females it is 1800 mg to 2300 mg. For pregnant and lactating women it is 2300 mg. Chromium 50 micrograms. Copper 1.7 mg. Iodine for children it is 90 to 120 mcg. Adults 150 mcg. Pregnant and lactating women 250 mcg. Coming to manganese it is 4 mg. Next molybdenum it is 45 mcg. Phosphorus in children it is 600 mg. Adolescents, girls and boys, it's 800 mg. Adult men and women, it's 600 mg. Pregnant and lactating women, it's 1200 mg. Next, potassium. For children, it is 1100 to 1550 mg. Adult men, it's 3750 mg. Adult women, it is 3225 mg. Selenium, 40 mcg. Sodium, for children, it is 590 to 1010 mg. Adult men, 2100 mg. For adult women, 1900 mg. Let's see the conversions. Vitamin A, 1 mcg is equals to 3.33 international units. Vitamin D, 1 mcg is equals to 40 international units. Vitamin E, 1 mg is equals to 1.5 international units of D-alpha tocopherol or 1.1 international units D-L-alpha tocopherol. Folic acid, it's 1 mcg is equals to 1.7 DFE, dietary folate equivalent. Next, let's see the RDA values of amino acids for the age group less than 2 years. The first amino acid is histidine, 12 mg, isoleucine, 23 mg, leucine, 44 mg, lysine, 35 mg, sulfur amino acids as methionine or cysteine is 18 mg, aromatic amino acids, tyrosine, and phenylalanine, it is 30 mg. Threonine, it is 18 mg. Tryptophan, 4.5 mg. Valine, 29 mg. That's all for today. Thank you all.